Magandang 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 afternoon po sa ating lahat. What's up, TSSians? At sa lahat ng ating mga avid listeners, kayo po ay nakikinig sa 103.9 VSSC Smart Agri Radio. Ugini ang inyong DJ sa kahanginan, DJ Press. At welcome po sa ating programa sa Bida Estudiante kung saan VSSC ay nabida ka. Lain niyo po kong makakasama tuwing Webes, alas dos hanggang alas dos e medya ng hapon. Halina't makinig, magtawanan at magtsikahan kay DJ Press. At mamaya, uh, magbibigay po ako ng mga updates sa ating mga activities, upcoming activities, especially this month of September because I believe this is, uh, September is truly jump back with a lot of activities. Para sa itong mga estudyante. And karoon, medyo, eh, gradually, nag-open dyan ang uh, school. Magkita po na ito kayo na ay mga ginakandak na uh, um, classes. Especially katong mga nag-involve ang laboratory activities. So, nag-sulod na sila sa atong tulunghan. Alright? And anyway, shout-out tayo ko sa mga estudyante nga na-addict dari karoon sa Davao del Sur State College. And now, para ipakita yung support na, i-like, follow, and share yun na po ang ating official Facebook page, the DSSC Smart Agri Radio 103.9 FM, and use the hashtag, hashtag DSSC SAR, and hashtag Bida Estudiante. And now, last week, we had our orientation for freshies, transferees, shifties, tra- uh, returnees, and parents. At the same time, it also served as a welcome assembly, no? Sa pagkuhan, uh, welcome na to sila isip mga kuhan uh, uh, since mag- um, mag- uh, nag-open ang skulahan. And yeah, uh, we are very happy because finally we were able to conduct face-to-face conduct of, though it's a hybrid conduct of activity, pero at least na ini to sa skulahan. So na-feel good na itong uh, hugyaw-hugyaw, good siya, no? Uh, uh, And we would like to thank um, the Office of the, uh, of the Student Services, headed by our Director, Dr. Zandro P. Evangelis, for spearhead, uh, spearheading that particular event. So, na guanta we, um, in order to really actualize or to realize the orientation, the conduct of hybrid orientation, which involves face-to-face. So, gibuat to siya nga, uh, I don't know, in, per institute. So, And our last koan, kay, since nagandagan po yung dito sa atuang extension campus which is located sa Sulop, so we also organized a separate orientation for them. And I, I believe that was uh, Monday, uh, nga nag-antumi dito. And lingaw siya, no? Lingaw. Lahit na ang feeling nga, makita ka face-to-face and then na actual nga presentation nga mga sayo-sayaw and all, no? makita ni mo ang ilahang kalipay. So, lahi ragad siya. So, kudos, Dabo Dunsu State College for doing your best nga uh, makabuat o ingun ani. Alright? And also, nalingaw po ni kay uh, the Supreme Student Government also assisted in the conduct of the orientation. So, uh, isa po sa pinakalingaw nga part dito is in ginatawag na itong campus tour nga Uh, gilibot na mo ang mga students no sa kung sa mga facilities especially mga important ka mga offices nga ilahang adtuan di ari sa ilang pagkastudyante such as kanyang library kanyang scholarship office kay labi pa kay uh, um, mostly sa itong mga students no kay gusto nyo mag-apply sa kanyang natawag nyo itong uh, test scholarship tulong-tulong and other scholarships nga gina-offer sa uh, sa CHED Uh, even sa mga part uh, other agencies a uh, public and private agencies no so at least na uh, aware sila kung asa ng scholarship so whenever nga na sila i-process dito or magkuha ba like allowance or something so at least aware na sila kung asa ang scholarship office at uh, sila sa uh, registrar kung, especially if na sila i-request ng mga documents no so at least aware na po sila kung sa process nga magbayad di ari the dream ko ani nga document particular document Of course, nakabi- o nakabisit po sila sa ato ang um, uh, kaning likod nga part, no? Nga uh, likod sa dorm, which is good po kayo na ka ng medyo press ko ang hangin ba. So, lamig kayo magtambay-tambay di ara. Alright? So, that was for the orientation. Now, let's move on to other updates. So, first is we have posted already about this one, the election of section mayors. And I hope na tanah section is naka-elect na sila ha, class officers, no? from mayor down to 
uh, I believe, a peace officer. Uh, so, the deadline uh, for that is August 31 because we will be needing the list of our of the class officers no kay toward um mag magpahigayon ta sa tong general assembly because we all know nga uh, you know um it is impossible for us to conduct though we can conduct general assembly a virtual general assembly but since the general assembly that we will be conducting for our second general assembly is somehow or will somehow um talk matters that you know uh, kailangan butuhan so we believe that we need to, um, you know, we need to strategize for this one. So, isa nakita na mga strategy is to ask the section, uh, the section mayors to represent their section sa ato ang inatawag na general assembly. So, in that way, we can conduct it face to face. Na limit lang po ang mga tao, but still, uh, makuha na to ang tumong sa general assembly. Alright, so I hope na nakaelak na ang tanan and yeah, but anyway, we will announce very soon kung paano sa to ang General Assembly. Next, ugmay di ay, um, ugmay di ay mga estudyante, mga uh, employees sa Davao Dutch State College, and even mga family members. Ugmay di ay natin himuon nga vaccination drive dari sa Davao Dutch State College uh, that is in partnership with the Provincial Health Office, City Health Office, Department of Health, Region 11, and yes, the LGU, the ALG. So on and so forth. So yeah, uh, I very fortunate kita no kay giat to yuta dere for for the so called booster vaccination drive that is in line with with the uh, Sapinas Lakas. Uh, if I am not mistaken, the Sapinas Lakas program of the government. Yeah. So I hope kato mga labi pa to mga wala pa pa booster if. If na human mo, if fully vaccinated na mo, if you had, if you're done with your two shots, or depende kung Johnson Johnson mo kay isa nam to ka shot na fully vaccinated na mo, so yeah, uh, you can now uh, you can go tomorrow sa skulahan for your booster shots, and ang oras is from eight in the morning up to three in the afternoon. And by the way, nadi mi gipost po dahil sa mo ang Facebook page no the DSSC Supreme Student Government. You may fill out that form for the vaccination, but at least makatabang sa amua in order to somehow calculate o pila kabook ma anticipate na mo kung pila kabook ang mga muad to ugma. And by the way, dili nang siya limited again ha, dili nang siya limited for for the SSC employees, for students. Pwede po mo magkwan sa inyo ang mga pamilya o mga kailang nga wala pa nakapabooster o gusto magpabooster. Alright, this is open to all. Alright, thank you so much. Now, we also have here, September 6th, uh, we'll, we will be having our oath taking for all department uh, organization officers and club officers, September 6th from 1 to 5 p.m. So right after that, after the oath taking, we will also have the orientation orientation on the renewal uh, or registration and renewal of organization and clubs to be headed or to be spearheaded by our, of course, our, the office of the uh, student organization and discipline office headed by uh, SODO coordinator, Engineer Teresa S. Lumansok. Okay, I hope that you will take note of that. September 6, uh, 1 to 5 p.m. That's for the oath taking. And for the oath taking, uh, mga officers, you can wear your organization shirts or polo shirts. If wala, pwede po mag, mag business or business corporate attire, something like that. Maybe white shirts or whatsoever. It's up to you. So, para formal lang siya tanawan. Alright? Thank you so much. And now, we also have here September 8th. Well, sa may nasa September 8th. September 8th, natin ginatawag nga Padigusan Festival. Okay, and of, in, speaking of Padigusan Festival, so this is a um, the, ano na siya na-announce, ano siya nga, wala na siya klase. Alright? So, pwede mo maglingo-lingaw. And pwede niyo supportahan ang atong kuha hindi ay ato ang day entry ang Davao de Sur State College sa atong ginatawag nga float. Uh, float sa parade. So, if ever available mo. So, we hope that you watch the parade and supportahan na ito ang ato ang float. And mag mag workout ani is ato ang gam ato ang pinaka power ng mga amazing and brilliant students sa tudlok artists alright and of course um maningkamot po nasa president government nga mag mag assist po ani sa ilahang pagbuhat sa float alright that's it for the September 8th next we also have here isa sa mga gikahinam hinaman no so 
we all know nga, right? After yun, mga pilaka weeks or a month guru, or yeah, weeks lang ganit siya, less than a month guru, lagi na yung ginatawag na acquaintance party. Now, for the acquaintance party, um, uh, same gihapon sa mong ginabuhat, sa gibuhat na mo sa orientation, no? so probably, na uh, buhaton na ani is per institute gihapon, but we still need to tackle this one with your respective governors, and I hope nga tanan pong mga programs, mga ano, uh, programs kay naka-elect na po sa ilahang department officers, no? Kay napay na mga programs ka wala pa naka-elect sa, ila- naka-elect sa ilahang department officers. So, if naka-elect na sila, mas maayo. So, katong mga ongoing pang election. So, yeah. Uh, please take note of this. Uh, we'll have a meeting uh, for sh- uh, this is for sure. Uh, right after our own taking sa September 6, we'll have a, you know, partial meeting with a acquaintance party if uh, of course, we will try our best to hold acquaintance party per institute. So, para dili lang po kay Goat and whatsoever. And we will, of course, the, the information about the acquaintance party will be relayed on later sa inyong mga department officers. And also, we're going to have, okay, for the conduct of intramurals, I believe, ang uh, ganihan nag, nag-speak, no? Kasi, si Sir, uh, the, the sports coordinator o gato, uh, social cultural, um, coordinator no nag 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 talk sila ga uh, si Sir Gideon og si Sir uh, Sir Saniel uh, nag talk sila ganiha about sa mga upcoming uh, sa atong upcoming intramurals and perhaps uh, not really intramurals but mass kid no uh, so November 6 to 11 sa Davao de Oro State University yeah sa Mati uh, if I, if I am not mistaken so yeah Naputa ginatawag nga intramurals, no? And kani pa higayunon last week of September. Actually, duol dool na siya. So, if ever, uh, ano, I, we hope na mag-join mo sa mga padula na to sa intramurals last week of September. 